Jody. Thanks so much for coming. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Hey guys, I'm Clara from Thousand Islands RV Center. I'm here with Odie from Thor Motor Coach. And we're gonna talk about this little baby here, the 22M. B. Oh. <laughs> so, there's lots to talk about on this coach. There is. Do you know what I like to do? What's that? Let's go for a drive in it. You know let's what? talk about it. I agree. Let's All right, let's go. Make sure the slide's in. Well, well, Odie, thanks so much for coming. You're Especially welcome. Especially on a rainy day in Gananoque, Ontario. At least it's not snowing. That's true. That's right. So, let's get going. Buckle okay. up. And let's go for a ride. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah, I called it Gananoque earlier. Yes. No, don't let that out too far. Yeah. Yeah. The Border Patrol guy, he looked at me kind of crazy. I bet he did. Now it's yeah. Gananoque. Okay. Gananoque. So, right. now, Odie, talking about this uh, Thor motor coach yes we're in the 22b yes what made you go from a, a no slide to a slide let's start there first okay so on this model here it, it's very similar to like the 22e kind of okay mm -hmm. so you, you're going to have a corner bed corner bath mm -hmm. right so the biggest problem with the corner bed corner bath is the fact that you can't walk around the bed yes right? so big that, issue with women correct Correct. They can't yep. make it, and it's just a problem. Yep. So what we did, we wanted to design and create a motorhome where you can actually have a small unit that's 22 feet, yep. but you can still walk on the bed. So by enabling the model to have a slide out in the bedroom, mm -hmm. right, when the slide is out, you can then walk around the bed. Because the bed is now east, west, it's not north and south. Now you're making a woman <laughs> happy. We enjoy that. That is a good yeah. thing. Um, yeah. Okay, just to let you know, Everyone, we do have Carolyn, our media relations coordinator at Thousand Islands RV Center. We're along just here to make sure they're being appropriate. Well, How's okay. your driving record? We're not going to my driving record, Odie. Okay? <laughs> All right. I'm in a Thor motor We're putting coach. Our lives in it's, Clara's hands. Yes. <laughs> and I'm not in my car, so I have to be on my best behavior. All so right. I will. Okay. okay. Good. All right. That's, good. That's good. All right. Getting back to this 22 yes. video, which I absolutely love. I okay. love the bat. Yes. As a bigger woman, I love the bat. Okay. 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 So now we have tons of storage in here. Yes. We went through the colors. Okay. Now, what about the chassis? It's on a Ford chassis. Yeah, it's on a Ford chassis, so it's a V10 actually. It's a V10. It's and a V10. 22? 22 footer. Yeah. V10. And why did you choose a tw uh, V10 for? That's a that's a good question. We did that because there's no reason to not stock it with the V10 because the V8, which they do still make. It's, there's not that much difference in price. Right? Oh, really? The, the, there's a little difference in price, but it, it's it's so it, it's close enough to where it makes no sense to put the V8 to save a little bit of money. Wow! Right? So we're we're not going to do that. We decided to put the V10 in because more power is always better than less power. That's it, right. It just is. When right? you get into the hills and the Canadian Rockies or down in Pennsylvania, right. you got to be able to go up those hills. Yeah, you, yeah. you do. Well, that's good. I'm glad that you guys put it on a, a V10 now. Now, talking about the engine still, Odie, because yep. there's people out there that don't understand okay. about what kind of liter it is. Yeah, it's a 6.8 liter, all right? Wow. So it's a V10 6.8 liter. It's going to roughly have around 305 horsepower mm -hmm. and about 420 foot-pounds of torque. See. So that'll equate to the highest tow guard rating in any Class C in the industry at 8,000 pounds. You can tow 8,000 8, pounds. 8,000 pounds. Witness. Yes, yes. Wow. Yes, you can. Up to, up to. You may yeah. not have to, but up to. Well, so, that gives boat, you a... car, bike, yep. whatever. That's what I'm thinking of. All the things instead of that yep. watching that 1500 pound yep. car. Right, right. So, you can yep. tow basically Just whatever good. you want. Yep. Doesn't matter. Wonderful. So, that's, that's, Wonderful. A, that's a big deal. My God, it rides smooth. Doesn't it? It does. It really and does. And you don't hear a lot of rattle. Right, right. No, I don't like I'm rattle. Not Yep. No. You'll get some every now and then. That you'll have to debug it, but yeah. Yeah. And there's a reason for that. Okay. Why so is that? the reason why that that is is because we use a company called Moride. Okay. Now, yeah. who, who Moride is? Just to give you a little background, Moride is an OEM certified company in Elkhart, Indiana, that modifies our chassis. So basically, what that means in layman's terms, we buy our chassis from Ford. They come with no home on it. Well, in order to stretch that wheelbase, we have to cut it and expand it. Now we don't do that as Thor Motor Coach in-house okay. because we specialize in building the home part of it, not the chassis part. They okay. are by far the best in the industry. All the work that they do will meet or exceed the OEM guidelines. Wow. 
So then again, that'll uh, it'll already exceed the Canadian standards. Absolutely. Because we're above you guys in that aspect yep. of things anyway. Absolutely. Yeah. And in turn, <laughs> what that's going to do, every outfit Morai does, they guarantee it to be up to an eighth of an inch level from front to back. No. Yes, I kid you not. So what that means is you. The, the, the foundation is extremely important, if not the most important part of any motorhome, mm -hmm. as it is your house. Right? Yes. Your house is important. You can't build on crap, because if you build on crap, what's going to happen? Your home eventually will be crap. Ah. Right. It's just a fact. Yep. So we put a lot of time, money, energy into our outfit because it's the single most important part. The problem is you can't see it. You just It's there. However, yep. it's very important because if you have an even and level foundation, we can build on an even and level foundation to make sure your home is the same way. Yep. A lot of manufacturers, they do it in-house, right? You get yes. guys making 10 bucks an hour welding yep. chassis in-house, and it's not done to the right standard. No. no. I'm telling you, this is a nice, smooth ride. Good. Feels it smooth. is. I really like it. Are you just saying that? No. All right. No. Okay, let's have some gadgets. Okay. Yes. We so, now this is... Look at your dash gadget. Oh, my dash cans? I like the new stoves. They're the, uh, I like Furion. I like Furion, so yeah, I like the new stoves. All right, get back to this guy. Okay, so the, basically the, this whole entire front area is all from Ford except one part of it, okay? We will add this Xero radio. Now, the radio that we add, okay, does not have navigation, but let me explain. Yeah, I want to know why yes. you don't have navigation. Because let me ask you a question. When you go somewhere, nine times out of ten, do you use navigation in your car or on your phone? I use it on my phone. Me too. I use it on my phone all the time because it constantly updates. It's yes. accurate. Yep. It's just, we're used to it. It's yep. very easy. Navigation screens, you got to type in the number and it, mm -hmm. it's not always the right way. You know, it's it's very uh, tedious if you want to call it that. Okay. So, so what we did is we designed it in the area. We, we mounted an HDMI port on the front of this where you can yep. actually hook up your phone to this screen. And it no will mirror. way. <laughs> Freak off. Really? <laughs> So you can have your phone your screen, get out of yes, town. Yes. Oh, for God's sake, where have you been? Would you look at that? Yeah. Just look at it. Would you look at that? <laughs> and then, so this is the equipment full backup camera. Yes. Right? Yep. It has a backup camera. Yep. For sure. And it works well. It does. And it does. what are we looking for radio-wise? AM, FM, CD? AM, FM, CD. Yep. Okay. But again, though, if, if we're mirroring our phone, if we're mirroring our phone, yes. it'll play whatever you have I have. Phone. Yeah, so, because I yeah. I have Spotify. Okay. So can I watch? Can I listen to Spotify on? Of course you can. Machine? Of course you can. Well, there you go. I'm all happy now. Who's your favorite? Who you I, oh, I have found a new genre on my Spotify because I'm old. I like the '90s rock. <laughs> okay. No, the '80s rock. Not the '80s 90s. rock. '80s rock. Oh, oh. <laughs> all right. So let's talk about uh, Claire's kitchen. Okay, yeah, my Claire's kitchen. kitchen yes. Yeah. Furion, yes. Well, the beauty of that is, okay, the oven's nice. Well, actually, a lot of nowadays aren't coming with ovens anymore. I know. They're kicking them out. Yes. But what we have found is that people still want to use the oven. They just do. You know? I like the oven. Me too. Me too. Okay. And I like the new Furion because it's it's wider. It is wider. It's more efficient. It uses it's less wider. LP. Yep. It's more powerful. Yep. And and the best part, Black. it's got blue lights on it. I, you know, blood. I'm telling you right now, I thought that was awesome. Blue. Oh, it's got blue it. lights. It's got blue lights. Do it again. Right there. Do it again. You can Off. watch it on the screen. And then on. No on. Boom. Yeah. I just love it. Yeah. Drop, drop your mic. It. It's over. Yep. 80s rock. You know. Ah. Oh. We do. do. We do. Yeah. So that'll be a regular microwave because you have the oven. Yeah. So it is an option if you want to spec that that way. If you don't decide to get the oven, you can get a, a convection if you want. All right. So. Now, does this one here? This has the. This is one. I need you to. to I am. I can do one to multitask. Listen. Because yeah, we're really driving. Talk about here. yes. We All right. Are. It's not. A, yeah. No. A we are not just sitting here. We're really we're driving. driving. We're driving. We're driving on Highway 2. Right. Yeah, now, talk about the induction stove. Why are we going with an induction stove tops? Induction? Yes. Um, well, I mean, induction, they're, they're going to be electric. Okay, yeah. so electric is obviously going to be more efficient. It's quicker. Um, but we also give you the opportunity to have gas and electric. So That's we also right. have a stove top as well. You can do both. Yeah. I mean, I like the induction. I have it in my house. It's, it's very quick. It's easy to clean up. I mean, it's fast. Very fast. Um, and it's efficient, so and, and it looks cool. 
I love it. Really does. Yep. So that that's that's a good Hey, that's just one of ten. Yeah, that's yeah. one of my key questions I had. Now let me ask you a question. Oh gosh. <laughs> all right, go ahead. As you're driving this, uh -huh. do you feel like it's top heavy at all? No. Good. And it's the the bunk over yep. cab. That's right. That's and right. I'm telling you, you gotta believe right. me. I like driving this little guy. He's comfortable. Yep. It's not swaying. There's a reason for that. Why yeah, okay. is that? So what we do. What you'll notice that in the industry, there's a lot of brands who have a lot of steps. Yes. Entering their motorhome or coach. Mm -hmm. We do not have entry steps. We have one integrated steel step well. The reason okay. why is we do not build our platform higher. So, so our coaches okay. have a lower center of gravity. That's why you don't feel like that. That's the good balance, it's true, the See? balance there. And we also yeah. use yep. more steel into our chassis. There's a lot of steelness from Moride that they add to this. So not only is it true, flat, and level, yep. okay, it has a lower center of gravity because so we don't build them. You're not, it's not, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's why I find it very, yeah. very comforting to, to drive. Yep. And by the way, I'm not a very good driver. I was going to say, with your record, it, yeah. you know, we want you as comfortable as possible. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> right so, so what else do what else we need to talk about on well, this I have two questions in regards oh. to so what if you head somewhere and you're dry. What so, if, okay. dry camping. Okay, dry camping. Okay, so this motorhome is 100% fully self-contained. So what that means is it has an onboard generator, okay? And that runs directly off the fuel tank itself. The fuel tank is 55 gallons. I don't know how many liters that is, but... I'll let you we'll guys do the conversion. Some I'm, of us still say I'm, gallons. I'm, yeah. Okay, okay. I was going to say, I'm from the States. Yeah. So, but yeah, so 55 gallons, and that runs directly off the fuel tank itself to the generator, okay? So what that means is... It's 100% fully self-contained. As long as you have resources, i.e. fuel, gas, and water, you can go out in the middle of nowhere and camp without having anything around you. Is so that nice? It is very nice. Oh. So we're going to be able to run everything. We're yeah, exactly. We're going to be able exactly. to run our microwave, our air conditioner. Yes. We're going to be able to run everything. Yeah, it's a 30 amp coach. Nice. Okay. So and it's a 4,000 watt generator. Nice. Okay. Are we so, going on the 401? It's up to you. Yep, we'll go on the 401. We're going on the highway. Okay. Hopefully. Yeah. Oh, we're buckled in. I, I am. Yes. Okay. And a benefit of this is it had airbags. Oh, we oh, may true. need them. <laughs> but she doesn't have them. We yeah. do. We have two up here. We're yeah. fine. But so the benefit of a Class C over a Class A mm -hmm. is that you got airbags up front. Yeah. Because we don't modify any of this. No. You know, it comes all from Ford. We do jigsaw the roof line out, but that's it. Yep. Let's talk about fuel economy. Yes. Okay. Oh, that's it's a great one. So yep. fuel economy is one thing that I get questions with all the time. So I have been with Thor Motor Coach going on seven years now, or eight years now, I'm sorry. I take a demo every single year. I clock about 2,000 to 3,000 miles every demo that I go on. Mm. I can tell you from personal experience that I get, and I don't drive slow. I'm like you. I drive fast. We well, drive fast. You know where you're going. Get out of my way. Well, I'm going to be genuine about it. I don't drive slow. Nope. With the way that I drive... I got anywhere from eight to nine miles a gallon. What? Yes, I did. Yes. Now, one trip that I took, I went on the entire trip and I went 55 miles an hour. That's our speed limit in case. on the road busy. Yeah. Okay. I went 55 miles an hour. It was very hard for me because I was impatient and it was very uh -huh. tough. But I got 10 and a half to 11 miles a gallon. No. Yes. See? And that's what you should get you out should. of this coach. You should. So I don't get that. Speed. but. Well, that's just me. Yep. I can't help it. I, like I know, I speed. shouldn't talk because I, yeah. Well, you know, you're fine. You don't have any tickets or accidents, so you're fine. <laughs> She's like, come on. Don't miss it. I've got the guest backseat driver. She's like our mom. Yep. Yes, I am. She's watching okay, over Okay, so what else do we need to touch base on so everybody knows? We talked about towing. We talked about the yep. drive journey. We talked about fuel economy. Yep. Well, let's talk about sleeping. Okay. Yes. So. Yes. Sleeping Yes. And living quarters. Yes. Right. So meaning that this is only 22 feet. Yep. The question is, how many can you sleep? So yep. you got the bed over top. Yep. You have the dinette, then you have the bed in the back. So you can comfortably sleep six if you had to. Really? Yes, you could. And this is wide enough that I think we can get two out. Right. Right. Yep. Yeah. That's a lot of people. It is. I don't want that many people. You don't have to have it. Do you know, I like my saying, is six for drinks, two for, uh, no, six for your looks. I gotta uh -oh, get off the road. <laughs> six for drinks, two for looks. 
six for drinks, four for dinner, two for sleep. There you go. So, I'm but you. you can sleep six. If you had to, yeah. If you had to. All right, I'm, I'm not going with you. I'm just going to touch back on the oh, gadget. Shoot, I, I got to slow down. Is that Cody? Yes. Just noticing a sticker on the window back here. Skating yep. that says Wi Fi enabled with Wi Fi Ranger. Ranger. Okay, so one thing that we did do for this coach was we added a Wi Fi Ranger. Okay, now what that is, and you don't have to do anything. It's already installed. It's already ready to go. Mm -hmm. What it does, okay, it doesn't give you Wi-Fi. No. It takes the Wi-Fi that you are around and makes the signal stronger. Oh, so we it sell the portable it. ones okay. in our store. Well, this so has, you put one on yes. the roof. Yep. Wow, well, yep. isn't that just something? Nice? Yep. Oh, that's good. It now, might, is that on all four four or four four ones? Yes, it is. On now, every one. Yep. Okay. It's like the Robin Hood Wi-Fi. You still from the wrist and the bore. Yes. <laughs> That's so awesome. We have noticed we have a little charge station too. So yes. The one charge station here. It's got two USBs. Yeah, there's two up there. Then you have one up here. Is there any in the bedroom? Um, yes, there is. There should be, yes. Yeah. There should be. Yeah. And then one at your flooring. So is this laminate? So basically what this flooring is, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a true vinyl, okay? So it's not linoleum. Right? It's a true vinyl flooring. It has a five-year warranty on it, and it's all one piece that lays out across the entire floor oh, itself. Really nice. So no seams, nothing like that. We don't cut around the furniture. Thank you. Exactly. Or the chairs or anything. It's all one piece. Everything else goes on top of it, right? Which makes it way easier More to reach. Durable. It does. It yeah. does. Yeah. And it won't, you know, the beauty of it is it's not thin. It's very thick, so it's residential. But it, and it's a cold crack resistant because yes, you yes. are talking about uh, ice and win it, yes. winter in Canada. Yeah, That's Gana, important. Canada, Canada, okay. I'm not quite. Say it with me. Canada. Canada. Na. Na. Quay. Quay. Canada, Quay. Canada, Quay. Yes. Okay. I got it. I like that. There you go. For today. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah. What about our windows? We've got some um, pull down sheets. We got pull down shades. They're they're actually big windows too that are actually open from left to right. They're not jalousing, which is nice for water or I'm sorry for air ventilation. Yeah. But the bigger windows you have, the more open it makes your coach feel. It's just so much <laughs> right. light. And also what you may notice when you walk in this coach, we have the highest interior height. That's 84 inches. And I only found that out, Odie, when I had a close to a six. I think it was six eight. No kidding. And, uh, yeah, and I sold him the 31 Okay. He's a very up. tall yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm telling you, when he walked in, he goes, wow, I have headroom. I have headroom, yes. So, How do you feel on the highway? I like it. Okay, good. Yeah. It feels and stable, controlled. It's, yeah. Hands free. Okay. <laughs> Don't do that. We're not moving. So, but I am uh, slightly speeding, so whatever. And we'll you, have, you have tow mode? You have cruise yes. control on this. Yes, the tow mode. I like that. Love the cruise control. Yes. Maybe I should put it on so I don't speed so much. That too. <laughs> and these are also now all six speeds. Okay. They used to be five. They are six, they are six speeds, speeds now. yes. Ah, yes. See, I'm glad you told me that. That, that did happen a couple years ago, yep. but they are all six speeds. Yes, we're on. Yeah. So that would help with the fuel economy. And it felt nice that yeah. we were accelerating as well. You couldn't yeah. feel that jerky movement. Yeah. Okay. The, the shifts are very seamless, which is nice. Yeah. You know, I think by adding that additional gear, it really helps that because the gear ratio is now a little bit shorter. Yeah. So, you know, with doing that, it, it does make it better. But also with that V10 and having all that power, this is the same platform and engine they use in the 31 footers. And even in the class A's, it's the same engine. Oh, and, no way. And 35 footers, yes. So, oh. exactly. Well, cool. So you have a thing called a power to weight ratio. Yeah. This exceeds all of that. It's definitely in line, in the good way, because you have a, wow. this amount of power yep. for this amount of weight. For this amount of weight. Right. Well, that's why I was questioning the V10. Yep. Exactly. Yep. So, that's awesome. So, in a 22 footer, you're by far exceeding the power to weight ratio where you need to be in line to make it feel the way that it feels. It's smooth. Right. Let me tell you, it's smooth. So, yep. maybe we should just touch on briefly, this is kind of hard to do from the inside with some exterior features. Yeah. There. Okay. So, I mean, obviously. Well, the most important thing that, we, that we'll start with is going to be the color of the motorhome itself. Okay? Yeah. So the outside of our coaches, they will have a tan or a brown appearance, right? Yep. That's not a paint, okay? That's not a sticker. So it's our fiberglass, all right? We have what we call HD Max, okay? Now what that is is the fiberglass on this coach 
It's the same color all the way through. So it's harmonious all the way through the entire glass. So what I mean is if you scratch it, it doesn't turn white. It'll stay that brown color. Oh, neat. Does that make sense? Well, I'll eat now. Yeah, well, you will. And then, of course, it's a secret within audit. Yes. So in this particular yeah. unit, would it be automatic? Or um, so it, it's a combination. It's not automatic. Yes. You hold a button down, okay. so it electrically goes out, yes. Right. Okay. Power sure. awning. It is a power awning, yes. Now, does it, it has the awning lights on this, doesn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. yeah. The LEDs. They're the, they're the number, like, that's the that's next awesome. best thing since it sliced bread, isn't yeah. it? Everybody likes them. Just don't forget to turn them off when you're driving because they stay on if, if you keep them on. Yes. And they are bright as can be. Especially, it's yes. distracting to the other drivers. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. So what kind of it's a storage compartments? You're, you'll have primarily the biggest ones in the back. There are going to be a couple that are sprinkled through the bottom on the sides. Uh, with a 22-footer, though, you really don't have a lot of room. So, I mean, yeah. we try to, to take advantage of every single portion of the coach that we can and utilize it in the right way. So when we walk outside, I'll show you all the source compartments. Um, but the beauty of our compartments is there's no metal and there's no carpet in the compartments. So okay. the, the, the benefit is that it's rotocast. It's a, it's a five spun plastic, yes. so it won't rot, mold, or mildew. That's so right. you can take a hose and just wash it out. That, I like that. Me too. But yeah. if you've got carpet and metal, and then, it gets wet, yeah. the rust and mold. mold. I mean, that's the last thing you want is a rust and moldy compartment. Yeah, and I don't want to pull up my shelf back. Right. Well, we made yeah. it back to the lot. We yeah. did. All right. So. Are you, are you really going to back this in? Uh, not a chance. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, they'd be down here in a heartbeat. All right. So let's take a peek at the exterior. Yes. Let's go to the exterior. I love the awning. You like the awning? Today. Yeah. It's, it's really nice. Yeah. And look at the light. Now, you mentioned inside that you make sure you turn those off at night. Yeah, because they're really bright at nighttime. Right? Extremely bright to where they're almost distracting the other drivers. So, yeah, turn them off if you're driving. They'll thank you later. Yeah. But one thing I want to point out with this awning is we had two decisions that we could make. We could have either put the slide on this side or that side. Okay, we chose not to put the slide on this side because of this. Anytime that you have a slide on the awning side, you take yeah. away from that camping area. Yeah. And that's the last thing yeah. you want to do is take away from your camping area. Yep. For the awning. So that's one great thing about this. So you have a nice full range awning with the LED lights. It just makes it very easy. And I can picture Enjoyable. me sitting in front of the ocean. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to talk about storage out here. Well, first off, let's oh, talk about the, H, remember the, yeah. the HD Max I talked talk about. Right. So this is yeah. the brown tan fiberglass, okay? It's not a paint. Again, it's not going to be a graphic. This is a graphic, but the actual material is not. It's All right? fiberglass. It's fiberglass, right? Front H, to back. Front to back, right? Side to side. It's it basically, it's homogenous all the way through from the front to the back. So if you scratch it, it does not turn white. It stays that brown color. Okay. To fix it, sand it down, re clear it, good to go. That, that's going to be a majority of your storage, which is nice. And yep. if you notice, it's all finished out too. Yes. Okay, so if you look at it, it's all finished out and there is a light right there to the left hand side. Yep. Okay, so again, easy to clean. You can just spray it out if you want to. Yep. But there's no metal in there, there's no carpet. It's very easy to clean. And it looks good too. So not only is it functional, but it's not an eyesore. That's right. It looks good as well. Yep. So your mechanics are obviously on this side. Yep. So you're gonna have the fuel tank fill, which is how many gallons? Do you recall? I was driving. Fifty-five. Fifty-five. Okay. And that gallons. runs also what runs off that? The generator. Bingo. Oh, okay. I passed my that. test today. <laughs> yeah. I love this. What is that? That is the black tank flush. What's the benefit oh. of that? Well, it's because it cleans your black tank out much quicker than the way I used to do it. Okay. All right, the hose going into my trailer yep. and down the flush is never fun. No. Especially no. when you're bored and you want it done right away. Yes. You always get it on your feet. That's right. So this, you just hook up a hose. And you spray it spray and it cleans, it out cleans out, out the stuff. Yes, you which know. is important. Also, a benefit oh. of that is it yep. gives you accurate readings. That's right, because it does do a better job Correct. cleaning. So, because yep. it only takes that one little piece sure. of uh, bathroom paper to hit that sensor, and or, now you, you or something do it. else, or something else. Right. Yes. Moving on. Okay. Fresh tank. Fresh tank. Now, why is it so high? Do you know the yeah, reason? I have no idea. Okay. Because if I ever run out of water, I can't reach that. There's a there's a huge benefit of why this is so high. Okay. okay? Our fresh tank, which is about 40 gallons, is going to be above the belt line. It's inside the coach. Get now, out. What? I'm in. I'm out. <laughs> 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 it's above the belt line. What that means is it's heated and enclosed. It All can't the time freeze. It can't freeze. Seriously. It's above, that's why it's so hot. Yeah. Here, here's the belt line. Yes. It's all the way up, so it's sitting in between. Right there. there. Yeah. It's so then now that expense 
of putting heated and enclosed underbellies right. and the heated tanks and that is not necessary for Correct. your fresh water. And on some of those, they're very Brilliant. hard to service. Yes, they are. Yep. So city water connection, you're gonna have cable. This is nice, 30 amp connection. Love that it screws on and not knock a rack and pull them out. That's right. Love also, those. my favorite part, there's a blue light there that lights up if you have power to it. That's if right. It's not on, you have no power. You have no power. Simple. Yep. The generator, Generator's 4,000 watt. Yep. It is an Onan. Yep. Which is oh. by Cummins. Yes. Nice and quiet. Yep. Nice and quiet. Yep. And then obviously you're on board propane. Yep. And that'll be here because there's yep. no lock. Yep. 68 pounds. This is easy. And then you have the water heater. Yes. And it's all on this side, which is nice. I love it that it's right. on this side. We've really separated the like business yep. and the pleasure. And the it's pleasure. almost like a mullet, you know, party in the front, <laughs> or party in the back and business in the front. Oh, well. Hi. <laughs> Odie, thanks so much for coming. I pleasure. appreciate yes. you coming all the way down from Indiana up here to Gananoque, Ontario. Any other questions, guys? You want to test drive? You want to look at the rest of our four winds that we have in our inventory? Call me. Again, I'm Clara. Cell number 613-532-7834. One more time. Not cell phone. Cell phone 613-532-7834. Thanks, guys.